You guys, you, you, you think a politician would know how to talk into a microphone, eh? We're, we're addicted to these things. I, uh, my name is Nathan Cullen. I'm the member of parliament from Skeena, Bulkley Valley. I, I want to acknowledge us standing here on the traditional territory of Sailtooth, the Musqueam, and the Squamish people, unceded traditional territory of the First Nations people of this beautiful province in this magnificent country who have not been respected by their own government for decades after decades. And what we talk about here today, each amongst us, is a new generation, a new vision for what this can, pay, can be in this country. Now, I'm joined here by some friends. Murray Rankin, the Member of Parliament from Victoria. Spencer Chandra Herbert from here in uh, beautiful Vancouver. My dear friend Jennifer from the North Coast, MLA, and Robin Austin, the member of the Legislative Assembly for Skeen. Now, for those of us that live in the North, we've been fighting this battle for years. And we have fought sometimes with a feeling that we might be alone. And I stand in front of you here today and look upon these beautiful faces and that gorgeous mountain behind us. And I can go back home to my people and say, we are not alone in this struggle. You know, at one point in this conversation, the federal government of Canada called me and my people radicals. They called us enemies of the state. They thought that they could bully us. They thought that they could shut us down. Are they going to bully us? No! Are they going to shut us down? No! You know, sometimes out here on the West Coast, it feels like you have to yell real loud for those folks in Ottawa to hear us. Get over those mountains. And sometimes they, they close their ears off to us and say, well, you just happen to be in the way between the tar sands and China. Well, we're more than just in the way. We live here. This is our home and native land. And we will stand and defend that land with our very last breath. Oh, no. You know, there's, there's some characters out there that say this, this thing's inevitable, this pipeline. Don't all you people just calm down. It's inevitable. Well, this summer, I was on the blockades in the sacred headwater with the Teltan people, who stood up to one of the largest c companies the planet has ever known in Shell, who wanted to frack for gas at the headwaters of the Stikine, the Skeena, and the Nass rivers. And you want to talk about David and Goliath, folks. The Teltan are a small nation. After generations of oppression, they are an impoverished nation. They don't have lobbyists, they don't have big money, but they've got people, and they've got spirit, and they stood up to Shell and they said, no fracking in the sacred headwaters. And a year and a half ago, Shell said, thank you, but we're leaving. This, nothing's inevitable in life except this that when people stand together shoulder to shoulder as true allies to one another, stand in spirit and stand in purpose, there is nothing that we can't accomplish. I am so honored, I am humbled to stand with you, to stand with friends, to stand with allies. In that purpose together, one to the other, and tell this government, you may have all that oil money, you may have all the lies, but we've got the people and we've got the truth. And the truth with people always reigns supreme. Thank you so much.